Today, we'll, we'll look at a specific thing you can build and we'll turn our attention to Zoe, who is the star of the show. She is a fictional character, but with a real use case. She dreamt of starting a taco restaurant, just like her grandma, but she didn't have money. So she did the smart thing. She started a taco truck. Thankfully, she makes an incredible taco, but she lives in Austin, Texas. There's lots of taco trucks. There's so many. So how can she keep her taco truck top of mind for all of her customers, a loyalty program? But she doesn't wanna just buy a loyalty program software. She doesn't wanna add another subscription to her list of subscriptions. So she looks to Zapier and she builds out her loyalty program there. What this program looks like is that when someone buys six tacos from her taco truck, they get a seventh free. They log in and they can see um, all of the tacos they've purchased in the past, all the tacos they can redeem in the future. They use, we use tables as the database to store all, all that information. Interfaces shows it all. It's sort of like the website for Zoe's Tacos. Members can log in. Zaps handle all the logic in the back end, and Zoe also created a canvas so that anyone who comes onto our team can see what the process looks like. So let's take a look at this loyalty program. Okay, I'm here at zoestacos.com. You could actually go there if you want to today. It's live, um, but this is where someone would come in and simply place an order. So they can decide when they want it, maybe one taco, it's chicken, their first name and their email address. And here's where they can sign up for Zoe's Taco Tribe and get those free tacos. They just click a box, tell her they're not a robot and place the order. Once they do that, they can actually sign in to Zoe's Taco Tribe. So when they sign in to the Taco Tribe, they're logged in, they can see all of the tacos they've purchased in the past, the tacos they've earned, the tacos they've redeemed, all of their order history right here. This is specific to each tribe member that logs in. Then they can go to redeem. When they're ready to redeem a free taco, they just click this button. When they go pay at the taco truck, they would show this to Zoe and she'd give them that for free. So this is built all in Zapier. So let's look at how everything is set up. I won't go through all of the major details, but here is Canvas that shows you the interfaces, tables, and, and zaps that power this complete loyalty program. So we have one interface, that's the Taco Tribe interface that they log into. And we have two tables, these are the bones that help this loyalty program take shape. We got the actual tribe members so we can track all their orders and whether they're um, ready for a free taco or not. And then we, when they get a free taco, we add a free taco to the free tacos table. So there's lots of uh, different workflows and processes here. I won't go into too much detail, but when they join, a Zap does kick off to add that new member. Then they log in. And when they log in, they can see all the tacos they've redeemed. A Zap tracks all that, creates new free tacos for them. Then they go and see that table in the interface with all the free tacos. They click to redeem a taco and that shoots off another zap to update things in the tables databases. So let's take a look under the hood real quick. This is the Taco Tribe interface and here is where you can configure your custom domain, the navigation bar, you can configure who has access and the users, how they log in, and you also add in tables components. So when they're looking at the status of their membership and they wanna see how many tacos they've purchased, all we're doing is taking that table that has all that information for each tribe member and we're adding it as the back end for this table component in interfaces. The trick here is just to add a filter and the filter is telling the table to only show 
the email address or the records for the email address that is that current user, that tribe member who is logged in. And so that's what you choose here to make sure that only each tribe member can only see their information here. So that's really the gist of what this interface is made up of. There are just different tables showing different information. So the Redeem Free Tacos is also just showing the free tacos table and filtering it down by the tribe member who is logged in. And so those tables in the back end, Zoe could manage things from there. They can see um, right here, this is all the different members and all of their information. And then the free tacos is the other table. We can see the status of those tacos, whether they've been redeemed or not. And that's all held here in the table. Let's see if there's anything else to show. Um, yeah, there's plenty of other things you can do with interfaces like the theme and branding, but that is the, the gist of the loyalty program. It's pretty powerful and shows you what you can do. That's all I have. Wow.